Hello and welcome. You're with We Mean Business. I'm Shweta Rajpal Kohli. As the Rajat Gupta trial goes underway in the Manhattan Federal Court for securities fraud and insider trading, his friends, including Reliance's Mukesh Ambani, author Deepak Chopra, CII President Adi Godrej, DLF promoter KP Singh, and many, many other leaders of corporate India have come out in his support, praising him, calling him a man of great integrity, signing up to a website friends of Rajat Gupta. On the show today, we ask if the support being given to Rajat Gupta is justified, whether corporate fraud is on the rise, and if we've learnt any lessons from the Rajat Gupta case or from other corporate scams like the Satyam case. Let's take a look at who all we have on the show as our panellists today. Mr. H. K. Dua with me here in the Delhi studio, senior journalist and member of parliament. We've also got uh, Sandeep Parikh, founder of FinSec Law Advisors, joining us from Mumbai. Shiv Vishwanathan, sociologist, joins us from Ahmedabad. Neeta Potnes, senior director of Deloitte, uh, also joining us. Uh, we'll also have on the phone line Mr. Pramod Bhaseen, chairman of Skills Ac Academy and non executive vice chairman of Genpack, joining us from New York. Uh, also, we spoke earlier to Mr. TV Mohandas Pai, chairman of Manipal Global Education Services. Also joining us on the phone line from New York, well-known lawyer, Mr. Ravi Batra. Thank you all for being with us here on the show. Let's first try and address some of the big questions we're hoping to answer today. Should India Inc. be supporting Rajat Gupta? Is there a disbelief over charges against Rajat Gupta? Is Rajat Gupta's track record of any relevance in his trial? Is this a case of pure greed or simply a judgment of error? Has the image of Indian Americans taken a beating due to this case? Are cases of corporate fraud on the rise? Does India seem to have a high tolerance for white-collar crime? Have governance standards improved post-Satya? But first, let's take a look at what some of Rajat Gupta's friends have had to say and why this case is being watched so closely. biggest business tycoons and Rajat Gupta's distinguished friends fighting a vociferous support struggle online as the accused under trial where there's a fierce storm of indictments at the Manhattan Federal Court for a insider trading fraud that includes leaking confidential information about Goldman Sachs while he was a director resulting in the conviction of hedge fund billionaire Raj Rajaratnam the charges one account of conspiracy and five counts of securities fraud, carrying a maximum term of 20 years in prison. But experts watching this high-profile case say it is different from the other trials that have been wrestled out in the US courts. The government has crafted a mosaic of arguments by relying heavily on just two circumstantial and not direct indications of illegality, unlike in the case of Rajaratnam. There's also the question of perception and character, with Gupta being one of the most respected corporate figures and philanthropists on Wall Street. The question is, how much of a sway venerating testimonials by influential pals will hold in the courtroom? In the Gupta trial, the cases are largely what we call a circumstantial evidence case. No direct evidence uh, of uh, illegal price fixing, but a lot of facts that the government will put together to create a mosaic to attempt to persuade the jury and convince the jury that price fixing occurred. Uh, the jury can receive some very limited character uh, testimony from uh, associates and friends of the defendant, and um, I'm sure that some will come in here, as some did in the Rajaratnam uh, case. And it could be a tough few weeks ahead for Rajat Gupta, especially as the prosecution has pulled out its trump card, the wiretap recordings of Galleon hedge fund head Raj Rajaratnam's cell phones, recordings that Rajat Gupta's star legal team tried very hard and unsuccessfully and the jury from hearing in New York, Sarah Jacob, NDTV. I spoke earlier to Mr. Mohandas Pai about uh, some of those developments in the case. Uh, Mr. Pai, why, according to you, is India Inc. coming out in support of Rajat Gupta? Well, I think uh, Rajat Gupta has a very large reputation in India because he has done a lot of public service in India. He has come and met corporate leaders for many years. 
and this is creating support for him about his public service track record. And when I'm sure when the trial is held, when the sentencing comes or when the judge or the jury considers what he should do to atone for whatever he has done, his public service will come in the way of possibly lessening the sentence, if any, or to demonstrate that there was no criminal intent or that he had a very clean record till this incident happened. Uh, the fact that people are coming out in support is possibly a testimony to the work that he has done. But I would uh, go by the view of the judge who is reportedly to have said that even if a saint commits a bank robbery, the saint has to undergo trial for a bank robbery and the fact that the person is a saint will be of limited value when it actually comes to the judgment but whatever has been done should be taken into account while the trial goes on for sentencing. So it has a limited value. Right, but Mr. Pai, is it also a sense of uh, denial in a way about uh, uh, some of those serious charges against uh, Rajat Gupta, the fact that someone of his repute uh, possibly can't commit a crime like that? Do you see that sense of denial with those, with those uh, letters of support that we've seen on that website? Well, I think it's not a state of denial, but a state of disbelief that a person of such stature, a person of such a public record could actually do this. And I think it's in response to the bad mouthing that he got, uh, to his being treated like an ordinary criminal by certain people who are baying for his blood. Uh, this is by his friends to just to demonstrate that, hey, you know what? Yes, maybe he has committed a mistake. There's been an error of judgment and he should be punished for that or he should go on trial for that. But overall, he is not a person who has a bad track record. He is a person with a great uh, public service record. So I think is in response to a sense of disbelief, not to a sense of denial because the evidence that is coming out about his having made a call, the call being tracked and recorded is becoming more and more clear. Do you have the NDTV Profit app? All the markets, all the news and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at ndtvprofit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.